Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. In a previous video, I installed a ram pump on the Cross Timbers farm. I'm back out here today to troubleshoot an issue that's happening. Let me walk through the system real quick and I'll tell you what we're gonna do to change this up. So he has built a little box around his spring to keep out debris. The intake he has improved by doubling the size and he has added a screen here so that water comes from this bathtub into the drive pipe. So the issue was the pipe was about 160 feet long and it was losing the pressure wave as it traveled down here. So he has tried to install a stand pipe and that is another issue down here. Here is the stand pipe placement. You can see that it is overflowing currently and the math shows that we have approximately 1.3 PSI from the spring down here to where the standpipe is. And so here's the problem. Whenever the pump is started, it's got about an eight foot drop down to the pump. And so the pressure there is about three and a half PSI. So the drop down here pulls water faster than the spring is going to refill this standpipe. So let me show you what happens when I start the pump. When I start to cycle the pump, it's going to pull water faster then the standpipe can be replenished and it's going to suck air. And so the pump is going to stop here in just a moment. And there you go. So an air bubble has made its way down to the pump and has stopped. To fix this problem, one thing we're gonna do is Take the standpipe out from its current location and place it right down here into this little hole. And so we're already gonna have plenty of pressure right in here. And the drive pipe will then go from this point over to the pump, which we may extend out a little further to get a longer drive pipe. And that should allow us to have enough pressure feeding the new standpipe location and the pump won't be pulling more water than that spring can supply. The new silt and air filter bucket that I sell at Landa House is going to be used for something different and unique. So there's an issue where if you have too much input head pressure, the pump will produce too much pressure and try to send it out too quickly up the top. So you can either reduce your input head pressure, which will be hard in our situation here, or you can have the uh, delivery pipe go further up the hill. And so we're gonna go further up the hill, use the silt and air filter bucket to relieve the pressure in the delivery pipe and then bring water back down to the storage tank. So the uh, owner of this property is going to be making these changes and I'll be back once he has all of that done. Back out here the next day, we have the supplies we need to get this system up and running. The first thing we're gonna do is remove this stand pipe and just make it straight again. We're going to take the drive pipe, move it over there a bit, add a two inch stand pipe, and then have a drive pipe over to the pump. And doing that should allow us to have enough pressure to keep the stand pipe full and also feed the ram pump with plenty of water. We were moving the standpipe and all of a sudden a giant rainstorm came and so we uh, had to quit for the day. But I'm back out here to show you what the homeowner has done. So starting from the beginning, we've got this little spring box here, which we uh, measured to flow right at 1.6 gallons per minute. So you can see that the water is coming in there through the spring and going into the drive pipe of the ram pump right here. And so the problem is, we are using a half inch ram pump and it needs right at two gallons per minute to operate. So let me show you the rest of the system down here and I'll talk to you about what we're gonna do. So right here, we've got the drive pipe traveling down right here. It's approximately 140 foot long and it goes up here to a two inch stand pipe. The half inch supply line comes down here and feeds a two inch pipe that is a stand pipe. And that rises to about a foot above the source. And uh, so it's right at nine feet of pipe right there. He's put a cap on the top and some holes in there to allow air to go in and allow the pressure to escape. 
From the standpipe, a half inch drive pipe goes along here, approximately 20 feet over to the pump. Now we've had to tilt the valve over to the side to let the pump use less water because it was pulling down our source too quickly. So it was pulling down at about uh, every 24 hours it would start sucking air. Um, so it was almost what we needed, but not quite. So at 1.6 gallons per minute flow rate, if we had had the two gallons per minute required, then this pump would have functioned perfectly. Now let's follow the delivery pipe uphill and I'll show you another issue that we are solving. With the stand pipe right here, going down to the pump right here, we are able to push water uphill almost 60 feet. And we only had a lift of about 30 or 35 feet. And the pump was stopping because too much water was being pushed out the top at a time. And so one thing that's been done is kind of a unique idea. He has run the delivery pipe up to a land to house filter bucket further than the original tank. And that breaks the siphon, which then pulls water back down here to this tank. So let me show you here. To overcome the issue of the back pressure loss way down here at this tank, he has run the delivery pipe way uphill and into a land to house silt filter bucket. What happens is the water pours into the top here and then fills the bucket up to this point right here and then the overflow goes down and will eventually go back down to his storage tank. This just essentially breaks the siphon so that it doesn't go up here, turn around, and then get sucked all the way back down and stop the pump that way. You can see the ram pump output right here. It's still flowing quite nicely at this height. And let me show you how high up I am. Way down the hill is the ram pump. So as you can see, we have the waste valve tilted on the ram pump, and that is causing an issue to be either using too much water or stopping. And so what we're gonna do is take the current half inch ram pump out of the system, and we're going to install an even smaller pump. It's a 3 8 inch pump. And that will allow us to have uh, less water consumed from the source. And hopefully we'll be able to fill this tote down here for, or a water trough for his animals, which you can see right down in here. And that way his uh, source water of 1.6 gallons per minute will not be sucked dry from the half inch ram pump that we're currently using. So if you want to check out the new YouTube channel by the uh, Cross Timbers Farm here, I have a link in the description down below. He has um, some tractor videos up. He's just started the channel and uh, he's quite good, I believe, at making a video. So uh, it's called The Eighth Day Chronicles. So I'll check out his link in the description down below for his YouTube channel. I'm Seth with Landa House. I have four different sizes of ram pump available at landahouse.com, Amazon, and on eBay. Links to those also in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe because coming up, we'll be installing that 3 8 inch pump here on the farm to get water up to his goat pasture. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.